hello everyone. This is Dr. Raman here and I'm here with senior animal science student Jessica Lovich. Hi. Um, we're here going to talk to you about how to register for courses here at SEVS at Rutgers. So Jess, why don't you tell a little bit about what your major is, your option, your minor, things like that. Okay, so my name is Jessica, like Kathleen said. Um, I'm an animal science pre-vet major and I have a double minor in endocrinology and also biological sciences. Um, I'm hoping to be a vet and I'm currently uh, getting my applications out now and hoping to hear back from the vet schools. Yeah. You're going to get good news. <laughs> I know it. I just know it. So, Jess, we're going to talk about in this registering for courses. So the registration period is beginning November 2nd. So what is the first thing you do to prepare for the registration period? To prepare, I first look at Course Schedule Planner, okay. um, which is just online on Rutgers. You can Google it, find the link. And I just look at each course that I have to take. Mm -hmm. I also look at Degree Navigator, which is also online. And you can go through the sequence and see what courses you actually have to take and see when they're offered. Some classes are actually offered every year, every other year. Um, so make sure you plan on that. Um, <laughs> so I usually go to Course Schedule Planner and if you go to each department you can click on the class that you want to take and see when it's offered. Um, make sure you don't have a class conflict because you can't be in two places at once. Very true. And then, <laughs> and then um, I just add them to my schedule on the side. You'll see there's like a navigation bar on the left and you'll just see each course listed, how many credits. And then I click Build Schedule and it'll show you like 200 possibilities of different oh, schedules wonderful. and you'll pick you'll see which one uh, fits you best if you like night classes you can pick night classes uh, if you like morning classes like I prefer um, you'll try to you know if you can try to get classes in the morning if you need a certain day open for research animal stuff anything work um, or you just want a day off see if you can put all your classes <laughs> you know in four days whatever you can do but that definitely helps a lot perfect perfect so, what is the best registration life hack you have? Okay. Um, what is your tip? I would say to definitely plan your schedule through Course um, Schedule Planner. Mm -hmm. Double check with Degree Navigator. Uh -huh. And I would just say, because sometimes WebRag is just not on your side, <laughs> just have everything ready when you go to hit that register button and when you go to click. Mm -hmm. um, because the system just gets overloaded by so many people trying to register. Sure. Um, especially um, for lower classmen because it, it is ranked on how many credits you have. Right. So the more credits you have, the sooner you go. Um, I would just say just keep an eye out. So if you are an underclassman and you're looking to take a particular class, see, you know, as the days go on, as registra registration continues, see how long, um, or rather how many people are in that class. If it's still open, if it's closed, just, you know, rework your schedule. See if you can do <laughs> anything to get into that class. And then just on web rag, just hope that you can get those classes. And if you do, it's like, it's beautiful. It's great. Do a dance. Yeah, literally. literally. Wear your pajamas inside out. Yeah. Good luck, Penny, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, besides having everything set for the night of registration, do you do anything else that night? That night, I make sure I have good internet connection, mm. um, which RU Wireless, not the best, but some people have great connections. For some reason, I can never get a good connection. <laughs> um, but I would just make sure you have a secure connection with RU Wireless or are you secure? Uh, probably secure if you can. Um, and just make sure you're in a good place. You don't think the internet's going to kick out because that's the last thing you want when you see the little little uh, dial that says, you know, wait four minutes and if it's more than four minutes, like refresh or something, and then it completely goes out. It's like your heart would drop. So you, this is the last <laughs> thing you want. So Not try good. your best to get a good internet connection. Um, that way you have no other factors affecting uh, your class schedule. That's a good tip. It's yeah. a really good tip. Yeah, there's nothing more stressful than watching the little dial go yeah, around. And then, and, then, and then it's like, you know, web page has been yep. like, done. Yep. <laughs> Timed out. Yeah. The <laughs> last thing you need. <laughs> exactly. So then what do you do if you don't get a course you want or you need? Okay. So if I don't get a course that I want, I then email the professor that's teaching the course um, and I'll say, you know, hey, like I'm, you know, introduce my name, my major, my year. Um, that you know, I would like to take the course I was closed out. Um, say, is there any way I can get a special permission number? Sometimes I'll have a professor email you back, like, hey, you know, thank you for reaching out to me. Here's a number. And what you do is you just register for the course, and it might say you need a special permission number. You just pop that number right in there, register, and have a little green check next to it. Um, if not, sometimes they'll put you on a wait list, and they can actually get back to you. And so hopefully, you know, you'll then get the class. If not, keep an eye out for it. Or um, just see, you know, sometimes people might drop the class, maybe they're holding it, and then they're like, wait, you know what, I don't want to take this class. So just keep watching WebRag and just say, <laughs> you know what, 
maybe one day it'll open. I have had it where, like, for example, organic chemistry lab, it's hard mm. to get into. Yeah. I've had it that I was trying to get in and got locked out. And then I waited, like, actually, like, two months later because I think I took it in the spring, so I waited over winter break. It opened up one day. I got it, so I snatched perfect. it. So perfect. Keep an eye out. Just keep looking out for it. And perfect. It so any other little tidbits you can give the students? I would just say make sure your internet is uh, is prime. Um, that's a big, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, a big problem for me. Um, make sure you just look at your courses. Uh, make sure that you're on track, you know, with every class you need to take. And feel free to speak to your advisor if you're yeah. confused about what Definitely. courses to take, when to take them, when they're offered. Mm -hmm. um, and also if you're interested in anything specifically, like I know for animal science there's different options. Mm -hmm. um, you know, let's say you want to do a minor per se. So I'm doing an endocrinology minor, so I have to take specific courses for that. See if you can actually incorporate that, you know, into your schedule. If there's any other classes you'd like to take, like, go out and take them. That's wonderful. Well, thank you, Jess, for no providing this yeah. information and the tips for the students. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to find this very helpful thank come you. November 2nd. Yeah.